stop right there. Easy. Easy. You know I'm not with Trinity. Why should we believe you? I escaped with one of yours. A man named Jacob. Where is he now? We were together, but we got separated in the mines. She killed him! No! No, 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 no! Jacob would never trust an outsider. Please, listen, I am not your enemy. I warned you. You should have left. Sophia! Enough! Father! I thought I lost you. I'm glad you made it out of there. Forgive Sophia, she is cautious. In her position, I'd be the same way. What did you find out? Trinity is coming in force. We must prepare. Her? She's a friend. On my word, no harm will come to her. These ruins. They must be near the Prophet's lost city. Come. We do not have much time. Prepare the weapon stores. Secure the battlements. Go! Now! They're almost here. But we're outnumbered. The children and elders are vulnerable. Go. Get them into the catacombs. Light the fires. The valley must be alert. Sophia, muster our fighters, then meet me in the upper village. Don't disappear again, Father. There's much to do. If we had more time... Later. For now, I'll do what I can to help. Vars must have been beautiful once, but someone's poked a few new holes in it and filled it with dirt. They must have used it to grow seedlings. The other settlements know what's coming. You two. I need eyes out across the valley. Head to the cliffs and take watch. I want to know the moment you see their helicopters. Jacob and his people are resilient. I'll give them that. Trinity is on their way. They could do with my help. And this atlas from the mural. If it really is some kind of map of the ruins, I've got to find it before Anna. If I don't, then all these deaths will have been in vain. And I can't have that on my conscience. Sophia and her warriors have already fought the invaders. She says they're well equipped. Yes, but we know the valley. We use the ruins and the woods to our advantage. I hope to God you're right. They've got helicopters. We should expect them to come from the air. Hmm. The Soviets did Hello there. So we stay beneath. How did you find this place? What brought you here? War is coming. We have to prepare. The Soviets left everything when we drove them out. Most of it is just waste, but there's still the odd treasure to be found. Damn. If we only had one more day to prepare. But we can drive them out, can't we? You were there when we drove the Soviets out. People need to hear we can do it again.
prehistoric carving of the bear. The stone looks like it could have come from this valley. They needed most of the lumber to repair the guard towers. Another difficult winter for my people. There are more deaths than births now. And as the seasons pass, the young ones are becoming restless. I see them looking to the sky when the rare plane passes overhead. Wistful. Wondering. Longing. I know they are still deeply committed to the cause. But I also sense a change coming. An end to our way of life is on the horizon. The most recent invaders are fading from memory. But as the technology of men advances, more are bound to find our valley again. And we are bound with the fate of this place. For better, or worse. We'll have to make do with what we have. Well, if they need arrowheads for the battle, then I need more firewood. I've already cut plenty. Besides, I don't know how much more time you'll have left to forge. Hmm. We can make points faster than broadheads. That should be our focus. Hello there. You're Jacob's guest. If you're looking for a way to help, they're repairing the guard towers just down the path. I mean no offense, but... You don't look like you're ready for a turn on the anvil. Hello there. Jacob said you rescued him from the prison. It was a joint effort. Well, whatever you did, we're grateful. We won't turn away another pair of hands if you can help. But we're not accustomed to visitors. Not much fuel left in the torch. I think I can get four, maybe five more sheets cut for the barricades. And then we'll have to find more. That's gonna be a problem. I dragged the last of those cylinders out of the Soviet prison a few summers back. After that, you're back to using a hammer and chisel. There's gotta be more. The Soviets left everything behind. We spent two full days combing the old buildings. That's the last of the few. Don't worry, you'll like the chisel. It never runs dry. Cutting coming. Slow. Gotta be careful. The rust made weak spots. We should have kept the metal dry during the rains. Hmm. We had to use those sheets to patch the roof last year, when we had the floods. Make do with what you can. Makes sense. If I follow these directions.
promise to keep them safe. We should have been ready for this. We knew better, damn it. I'm sorry, I've got no time to talk. Jacob says you can be trusted, and that's good enough for me. mistake today. One that threatens to lead to more mistakes. I spent time alone with Alia. Something I have avoided until now. She reminds me of my beloved Sophia, whom I thought I'd long forgotten, and it opens my heart like a wound. She clouds my judgment, even when she is not present. <laughs> I sound like a giddy child, and those days are far behind me. I must bury these old feelings deep and stay apart from my people for a time. If you want to help, you should head down to the lower village. I know you want to help, but I have to finish here. Armies need food as much as weapons. I'll leave you to it then. Can't the smith forge more? I just need a few Making arrowheads. As many as I've never felt such terror. Tonight the armies of the Mongol horde camp at the edge of the valley ready to strike at the heart of Gitesh. We have the alchemist's fire at ready to set the invaders alight. Every man and woman who can wield a weapon will fight. We will do all we can to support the Athanatoi. But I have never seen bloodshed. None of us mere citizens have. I have never taken a life and now that I must, I fear for my resolve. It's been a long time since Jacob brought an outsider here. There was a flood during the storm, knocked down some of the guard towers. Those things buzzing around the valley frightened many of the birds, but there are still gulls down by the water. Generator fixed so we can send a message to the other settlements. I'll see if I can help elsewhere. Please be careful here. This is the last of the old transmitters that will work, or used to work. Hello there. We know what to do here. We've been waiting for this. You're not with the invaders. What oh, you? hell.
Fires still rage in the outer districts. The last of the wooden buildings will be consumed by nightfall. The heart of our city is gone, buried beneath the ice. I can take some small solace in the fact that the Mongol invaders were killed, alongside the Prophet's warriors who died to save us. And the Prophet himself? No one has seen him since the morning after the siege ended. We need his wisdom. Now more than ever, we do not have enough food to feed those who survived. Some believe the worst is over, but I fear that is not the case. Don't waste your ammo now. It's not enough. We have to make do. There has to be more. Send someone to go now. You there. We could use some help if that's what you're here for. I'm here to help. What can I do? We're trying to fortify as many of these towers as we can. Most of them were badly damaged in last year's floods. We've got the repairs in hand, but I need some extra supplies from around the valley. If we can get these towers repaired, it'll give us an advantage over the invaders, and it'll help us reach the upper levels of the ruined towers. Will you help? I'll see what I can round up. Thank you. Bring them back to me when you found them. Do you have the supplies we need? Here you are. This should be everything you asked for. Good, good. Leave some of the supplies in the basket there, and we'll finish the repairs. But I need you to bring the rest of the supplies down to the tower by the lakeshore. When you're done, meet me back here. You want to earn our trust? Stay here and fight with us. You want to survive in this valley, you need to learn to track and hunt. Animals stick near food and water, just like people do. We knew someone would come eventually. Have you visited the lower tower yet? Not yet, but I will. ones. You scoffed at learning your letters. Said it had nothing to do with hunting. But that's your first lesson. Everything is connected. And I am always right. You clever students who saw the folly and stubbornness and can read this, here's your first assignment. Track, hunt, and bring me back the pelt of one of the small creatures of the valley. Hairs you can find anywhere, night or day. Both the little brown ones in our valley and the snow hares in the peaks. The squirrels stick to the trees, and rain will drive them into their burrows. And if you see fit to seek the rats, look inside the ruins, or anywhere the dead still lie. Please, do not bring me a rat.
Here is your lesson for today. Bring me any creature with feathers. The birds in our valley fly mostly by day, nesting away at dark. You've seen gulls and other kinds farther afield. Those common birds would count for today's lesson, but it would lack ambition. You clever students who wish to impress me would do well to head to the high elevations between dawn and dusk. I would find buzzard most impressive. And before you ask, the chickens around our village came here with our ancestors. Bringing me a tame bird from your mother's yard will not fulfill the assignment. Followers of the Prophet fled to the east. The journey was difficult.
Hmm. <laughs> 